Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave. And right now I'm going to be cutting one of these two pieces of lemon or citron chrysoprase. Before I go back in my studio, I wanted to show you a little bit of the color and some natural lighting, since I'm having such a hard time picking this up on my cheap cameras. Alright, see you folks inside. Alright folks, back here in the studio with my not so great lighting. I think I'm going to work this piece right here. Both of these bad girls were sent to me from a subscriber. Thank you so much. These stones must have been cut pretty close to each other when they were getting sliced on the slab saw because there's a bit of a book match there. That's way too cool. Here's some lemon chrysoprase, or citron chrysoprase, that I bought from the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show many years ago. I was drilling these things like crazy when I first got my water swivel and just making quick pendants. The Chinese variety is a little bit different than what I have here, which I believe uh, I was told it came from Australia. I just found out today because I'm doing a little bit of research on this material that citron chrysoprase actually is not a chrysoprase, but is a magnesite, kind of like howlite. This material here does not look like the howlite stuff, the magnesite, but that's what it is. It's not a chrysoprase, says this website. <laughs> anyway. This material is found all around the world. You know, here's some from China. But I believe the Australian material is found in a belt of rocks stretching from Norseman to Waluna, Australia. Waluna looks like a beautiful, beautiful place. There's some good medicine with these stones. Good for relieving stress. Intention, that is important. Also, to relieve those suffering from headaches, that is pretty cool. Who needs an aspirin? Anywho, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these pieces. I think, since they're so colorful on both sides, I will just polish both sides and maybe not cab it at all. Just to showcase the veins going through. And perhaps not turn this into a piece of jewelry, but just a good good specimen power piece or something. I don't know. This will be fun. I don't know what this other material that is inside of there is. Looks kind of muddy. Taking a bit of a glossiness, maybe it'll shine up. Anyway, see folks at the machine. Alright folks, here are those two beautiful pieces of citron or lemon chrysoprase. Absolutely stunning in the light. I'm going to lick both of these using a 360 grit flat lap. That's connected to the side of my cap king. One of these I will cut live on Facebook to advertise this Facebook video. Excuse me, this YouTube video. Anyway, I'm not going to shape this up on this wheel. I'm just going to knock off those tags and replace these saw marks with my scratches. All right, folks, I licked this with 360 grit using my flat lap on the side of my machine. Which I'm happy I did because I was considering not doing it in the case that the saw marks were finer than that, but I was right. And 360 grit is finer than that. I am going to round the sides of these. Only one of them right now. I think I'm going to work the larger of the two. I'll round that up using 220 grit a little bit, but not too much. I'm not going to shape the top and I'm not going to shape the bottom. Let's do it. Alright folks, this is 220 grit.
All right, folks, I didn't do too much. I did not lick the faces, and I didn't lick the ends. Just rounded up the sides just a wee bit. I did lick the sides as well. I don't think it'll take too long. Just from tasting it for a second with this 220, I can get the gist of how the material cuts. Here we go. Alright folks, here is my 280 grit grind. The different variations in material amongst the stone are taking different finishes, which is awesome. You can see the specs over here on whatever this lighter color stuff is. There's still a little bit of facets here and there because my 280 grit wheel is pretty darn new. This darker brown stuff looks like it's softer than everything else. Too cool. I rounded the sides a little bit on accident. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I think it looks great. Let me get a little light under this bad girl. Hmm, trippy. I love it. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to hop on over to 600 grit, which I'll finish up in no time. All right, folks. This is my 600 grit finish. Almost all of the facets are gone and replaced with 600 grit scratches, which are almost invisible to the naked eye. I did have a piece of this soft stuff blow out. That's perfectly fine. She's still a lovely stone. I'm gonna hop on over to 1200 grit. Here's 1200 grit. <coughs> anyway, here's 1200 grit. So this is my 1200 grit finish dry. You can see this side took a much better polish than this brown stuff over here. And check this out, how it fades into the bumpy stuff. This spot's more manila-ish, where this is kind of yellowish. Plenty of color in there though, and this is very much fun to play with. So in some of the stuff that I was reading, it says that lemon chrysoprase is a magnesite. I wonder if there's other variations where it's actually the matrix of chrysoprase. The stuff looks really green under light. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. You folks can do a little bit more research than I did before this video. But too much fun. This stone's taking a fantastic polish. It is a little unfortunate that this spot blew out, but it takes away very little from the beauty. I'm excited to see what this looks like after I burnish it. This is 3000 grit.
Alright folks, this is my 3000 grit finish dry. You can see this tan material here took a pretty good shine. Almost as well as this neon looking part. This brown stuff, as to be expected, didn't take the best polish, but it's fine. It's still beautiful. And at 3000 grit, the finish variation and the way it fades up there is a lot more noticeable. Absolutely beautiful. I could just call it a day right now at this beautiful finish. Wouldn't need to go any further. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna hit this with some Fabuluster. And then I'm gonna take it in some better lighting and see what I can see. Alright folks, this is my buffed, beautiful piece of chrysoprase. The buffer ripped off the little tag that was sticking off there, which is okay. I was surprised it made it all the way through 3000 grit. Absolutely fantastic. This is 100% dry. Alright, let's show it off and take it under some light. Alright folks, here's that beautiful finished piece of lemon or citron chrysoprase. 100% dry. Beautiful, beautiful. This material actually was a pleasure to carve, and I was definitely pleasantly surprised. Not the toughest material in the world, And at first glance, might seem a little simple, but definitely is worth it. I had a blast. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Anyway, folks, this is Lapidary Dave, thanking you for joining me while I work this stone. Hope to see you next time. See you soon.